top of the good evening to you, everybody. As promised, I'm gonna come in and do a makeup brush washing. So this is what I use. This is a tiny little pad, which has got different gradient and sized um, rubber knobs. That's what you want to call it on there. You can put your hand underneath and then you just wash the brush or you can just put it on, on, the, on the bench and do the same thing. All right, so these are not all dirty, but I just decided, you know what, put it all in together, wash them all and yeah, go from there. So I basically just use some gentle hand wash and I will Look warm water. Start with it in here. So grab my brushes and literally soak it up. Give it a good wash, 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 wash. Trust me, by the time I get to the end of all of those, I'll not be doing it this full one probably. But yeah, see? Great, because if they're, it's a bigger brush, you get right deep into it. If it's a smaller brush, then I just rinse it out, shake it, and then I leave it in the water for a little bit until I go on to the next one. Fan brush, same thing. Oh, look at that. That'll be a uh, highlighter coming out of there. <laughs> this little uh, pad here, I think $7 or something from Big W. So, yeah. Works very, very well though. You can see it all coming out of there. I mean, look at the colour. Can you see the colour of that? Yeah. Yeah. i rinse that out in there. Come back for a little bit more. So, sorry. Another one off the lift. Instagram, if any of you are on Insta, let me know. I might mind, keep the company. Okay, guys, I just wanted to come back in and go through. Remember this that I got the other day, my little uh, beauty blender from Sephora, from Hubby. Um, and I got out the little soap. So it's like a little charcoal soap. So that's actually out of the wrapper now. Um, there's my beauty blender. Look how dirty that is. And there's the little pad. It's actually got a love heart on it. Yeah, so I'm going to wet that pad, wet the soap, I'm assuming, I don't know what's the best way to do this, make sure the beauty blender gets a bit of soap in it, wow, it's pretty cool actually, I love this beauty blender, it is so soft, it's honestly the softest sponge I've ever had. And then I've got the little pad and I don't know that that little pad would be any better than the pad that I'm using for the brushes, but just in case I don't want it to rip it. So, yeah, I don't want it to rip it. And wow, that's crazy. I love that soap. Look at that. Brand spanking clean beauty blender. Well, there you go. Okay, guys, I am back. That was a big effort. Anyway, end result is this. So, we have a lot of brushes. <laughs> That's terrible, isn't it? There's my new Sephora ones with all my awesome 
uh, my beauty blender. I think that one's from uh, BYS. New by Nature brushes there. Couple of Thin Lizzy. Uh, Elf is over here. Flower Beauty is there. Sports Girl, they've surprised me. They've been really good brushes actually. Real Techniques, as I said, Elf. A few Eco Tools and these here are all no names. Literally, just cheapy little one. I think this pink set came from Wish. These are just big Ws. When they're on Spresh, I'll just grab them because it never hurts to have too many brushes. It just hurts to not have them clean. <laughs> anyway, awesome job. So tomorrow, just so you know, I won't show you the address, but my, finally, my, my Il Maquillage foundation has come in. So, yeah. Yeah, so I normally leave them out there like that overnight to dry. So they'll be ready to use again in the morning to be ready for work. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's it for me tonight. Hopefully I'll do one in the morning and show you that new makeup with the concealer. Thank you, as always, for tuning in because you are all absolute legends. Please take care of you and I'll catch you again soon. Mwah.